see the hopeless endeavor I had in tech for. Any of you know how to hotwire a car? tried one before. Skies are empty for now. Lucky for us. Well, I'd rather die in the fresh air than in that damn prison. Right, you be on the light now. This is a two-parter. First, we need to hit that blind spot precisely dead on. You in possession. Now, go, go, go! As long as we stay in this here mist, no one will see us. Right, this is the second part. We're jumping. Don't hesitate, just do it. As soon as you hit the water, you're gonna hold your breath and swim after me. Whatever you do, stay under the water. You break the surface, we're all dead. There are Nazis fucking everywhere. Now don't think about it, just jump!
too much. You're not supposed to be a grating in front of that hat. <laughs> Down, Max. Gently. Police, Captain. This is close. He's on our side. Used to be a Nazi, but not anymore. How is this possible? We are in the very center of Berlin. You're hiding in the plain sight. That's the last place they would look out. Will they not hear us? Best to keep your voice down, then, yeah? Fuck me. B.J. Blaskovich, I should have known only you would be dumb enough to do a daytime entry. The lady. Glad to have you back, Fergus. Caroline, you're alive. If you call shitting in a bag living, three pulverized vertebrae. You? Head trauma, four inches of cast iron shrapnel right in the conch. Still in there. Severed colon, septic shock, shattered pelvis. Memory loss, flashbacks, 14 years in a loony bin. Good to see you, William. So, what can you do? What are you doing here? Pleased to see you too, Tekla. You're supposed to be dead, Fergus Reed. You've been gone for three months. This stupid anomaly. People don't come back from Eisenwald. And you, long since off the books. I've heard stories about you. I was told you died in 1946. Misformation always. You, I don't even know who you are. We're variable. Well, none of this has been accounted for. I will have to revise my whole model. Thank you very much. I am hearing interesting things out of London. I have a folder marked Project Whisper, but someone has borrowed it. Klaus, I believe it was. Can you find it and bring it to me, would you please, Captain? Now that you are here, I think we can do great things. Why don't you sit with me, Miss Anya? Listen in on these frequencies. Anything out of London, make a note of the time and write down as much as you can. Here is pen or paper. Can I use your typewriter? You know how to type. Yes. My parents thought I should learn. Ah, for you to take dictation, prescriptions and such. Not really. It was useful during my time at the University of London for my doctorate in archaeology. Then the blitz came, and I had to go back home. I was only 16. Well, doctor. Please. Max, it's so schön, die ganze Zeit nach dem Hammer. Hast du ihn gesehen? Max, 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 Max. You know, about before uh, going off on you like that, it's a force of habit. No worries, Johnny Cowboy. It's not the first time it happens. Yeah, perhaps you should consider removing them tattoos. I will, in time. I was, as you Americans say, all wet when I got them, and I'm sorry to say it was a very proud moment of my life. I want removing them to be an even prouder moment. No more Nazis, no more tattoos. So long as you don't get in the way of me killing Nazis, we'll see eye to eye. Caroline's looking for a document folder, Project Whisper. I guess it's human. Max doesn't speak English very well, but he does know Project Whisper. It's a risky business operation. He knows what it'll cost us to pull it out. Max doesn't like violence. He doesn't want to see anyone get hurt. Alles in Ordnung, mein Sohn. Wir werden für dich kämpfen. Caroline said you borrowed the folder. Do you have it here? I did take it two days ago, but I put it back. Go to the ground floor. The folder should be in the drawer in a desk in her room, where I left it. Make a looky-loo in Caroline's room. The folder should be inside. I heard you were looking for the Project Whisper folder. Thank you. It's not here. <laughs> Obviously.
looks empty. Maybe we could sleep in here. Could use some shut eye. Not in there. Already looked. Anyway, I forgot to tell you. Try and not speak about Project Vispa when Max is around. He heard us discussing the plans for it, and it really upsets him. I really need you to step aside. Max, bitte. Geh zur Zeite. Das er ist wichtig. Max, komm her. Komm an. Alles in Ordnung. Alles wird gut sein. I'm sorry. I should have known you would have taken it. Much obliged, Captain Blaskovich. You ready for an assignment? Friends and comrades, this is it. Project Whisper. It's been in development for years. A helicopter aircraft. The Nazis have found a way to make it virtually silent in flight and undetectable by means of radar. Anya has decrypted the Nazi chatter out of London and located the only three prototypes in existence at the London Nautica Research Facility there. With Captain Blaskovich on the team, we are finally strong enough to strike at the operations. The days of scurrying like rats are over. With these machines in our possession, we can go anywhere, hit anything. We will rebuild the Kreisau Circle, arm ourselves to the hilt. We will rise up and take down death head for good. They think the war is over, that we are weak, beaten, don't have the guts to oppose them. And as always, they are wrong. I've got a 14-hour drive. I've got a sinus infection. I haven't had a full night's sleep in eight months. So let's go, people. Because I'm not doing this again. You've got balls of steel, Bobby Brown. Stop. I just want to get this over with. Mm. 
This big fucking disgraceful building is a London Nautica. This used to be downtown London. Used to be fighting in the streets over here. I mean, furious, unrelenting resistance. And then the Nazis brought in the London Monitor and everything went to shit from there. They just do whatsoever they please now. They just fucking leveled everything and erected this fucking monstrosity. It's a top Nazi research facility, this is. Aviation, space, all kinds of evil shit transpiring. Caroline and the other pilots should be over the radio tower by now. You see it. Anya's operating the radio back in Berlin. You can reach him using this. This is where you get off. So long, Blaskowitz. You make this count, all right?
weeks off and on. What could go wrong? First hand on the counter. <laughs> I think I found something. What do you see? Ancient artifacts. Highly technological in nature. Parchment. Looks like Hebrew. I think the Nazis are trying to reverse engineer all this stuff. Are there any identifying marks? Doth? You should. Dog, Abel, apostrophe, Abel, Tara, space, yoke, item, Charlie, how, Uncle Dog. Might be something in our archives, Anya. See if you can find any references to Dot Yishun. Will do. Be careful out there. I like her flask of it. Good catch. Be sure to bring as much of this Dot Yishun stuff as you can carry. Will do.
turn. How did you survive? I thought you were dead. Don't remember much. Remember punching Hans Gross in the face. Remember ascending into the sky. For a moment there, I thought it was going to heaven. Then falling, then pain. First pain of my life. Felt like my insides were running out through my back. Could barely move. Had to crawl. So they found me after three days in a ditch. Long months in a Kreisauer hospital bed. They were shoving tubes in me. Infection. Ugh, these things I don't want to remember. I'm sorry about your legs. Don't be. I've learned how to fly. <laughs> What is the dot ye should? How can we get in contact with them? Anya, what do we know? Very little, but I have some ideas. Good. Anya, you take the lead on this. Blaskovich, whatever she needs, you help her find it, yeah? William, I could use your help. Could you come over here for a second? I found some interesting leads. This parchment describes um, a way to create a type of super concrete. This is what the Nazis have used to build all these concrete monstrosities around here. Yes, everything, even this place. This is the only concrete they used. This is how they created all those, those cities so quickly. Now that we know where it comes from, I need a sample of it for a closer study. Can you look around here for a piece of exposed concrete that shows an outbreak of mold? It should be porous enough for you to cut me a sample. Whatever you need. Also, there was this encrypted list of Dat Yishut members in Poland during the war. I need to compare it with the official German state records on Jewish citizens in the years between 1939 and 1945. 
Can you see if those records are in the archives room? I'll get right on that. And there's uh, one more thing. Um, it's quite critical. What? That'll be all. We can go now. Mr. Big Cheese, you're in the sewer system now. You will find your way back here if you have a look around, Bless Goldvich. Howdy, cowboy. What the damn hell are you doing? Science project. Are you scaring Max? Sorry, pal. Didn't know he'd flip out like that. That his son? No. Well, kind of. I don't know. So not a son. Used to be Klaus had a son, born during the war. A miracle, he called it. So he had tried for years to have a child, him and his wife. Yeah, well, he'd make a pretty good father for a Nazi. The child was born with a club foot. Klaus knew, of course, what that meant. He begged the doctors not to report it to the authorities. Then secret police showed up to take the boy away. Klaus and his wife tried to stop them. So wife died from a bullet to the head. The child, too. Klaus could not protect them. 
So he blames himself. I think so. And he will never forgive the Nazis. Fergus, I need the keys to the archives. You got them? Okay, Fergus. I'm getting old, Blaskowitz. I don't know how much longer I can keep doing this. We'll be all right. We can still get the job done. Hey? For how much longer? What's this about, Fergus? I don't know. Nothing. Everything. It's about that boy, goddammit. Private Wyatt. He should be here instead of me. He was young. He, he had potential. He could have given us a future. You and me were two fucking mummies from the past, running on nothing but willpower. I made the wrong choice. Oh, well, that's fucking obvious, isn't it? I was ready to die. I would have done it gladly. I worked my ass off to save that boy, Blazkowicz, and you fucking pissed it away on a whim. Remember Prendergast? That fucking kid, he could endure anything. Now he's gone. They're all fucking gone. And you're stuck with this useless fucking skeleton. I mean, tell me, what's the long-term solution, eh? Who's gonna take over when we're too damn battered to strap on the holsters anymore? Get the fuck out. I need a nap. Why are you so close? Of course, 